and thank you for staying tuned into STL TV and joining me and my friends on The After Mix, where we get up close and personal with our audience to tee hee hee and ha ha about all the things you really want to see and hear about. So without any further ado, joining me on the couch, but not the couch, the chair, is Miss Scylla Hall, publisher of Gazelle Magazine and co-founder of Missouri Style Week. And later, we'll be joined by another special guest and local fashionista. So let's get started. Time for our tea party. Tonight, friends, it's all about fashion. The fashion trends th at this award season. Silas, I need you to take the wheel on this because, honey, I have a lot to say, but I'm going to let you talk. Go There's ahead. a lot going on, especially after the Grammys Sunday night. We have a lot to talk about. But we're having so many awesome trends going on. I love the plunging neckline. Oh, You're seeing yes. a lot oh. of that. We saw so much of it on Sunday night. You're seeing it on so many amazing women. It's all about the plunge, but it has to be tastefully done. Otherwise, it doesn't look exactly. right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, that's my, I love the plunge, but you have to have some good sticky tape because otherwise, the next thing you know, you're like out here like that. And a couple of people, I thought, they were kind of out there, but okay, I'll save my comments for later. They were, but it's the Grammy, so you can push the envelope a little bit, but as long as nothing sticks out, nothing falls out, then they're in good shape. But, you know, I love that mm. trend. I would love to wear it, but I'll definitely have a camisole under it, but there are a lot of women that are wearing you wouldn't it do amazingly. It? I don't know. I don't know that I would, but Beyonce did it really well. Oh, yes. Oh, well, you know, Bay always does everything wonderfully. Yes, yes, I'm a, I'm a fan of Bay, so whatever. Hate on. I'm still going to be a Bay <laughs> fan forever. And then, of course, you know, it's all about color right now. So we're seeing a lot of blue, a lot of yellow on the red carpet. I love the fact that you can take those colors and interpret them in a way that you can wear them. Um, this was so amazing. Uh, I loved it. Again, she has the plunging neckline. Absolutely. But then again, you have jeans. You know, you can wear blue jeans with a blue bag and, and size it up Absolutely. with something different. So colors, I like blue. I love blue. I love blue. Now, I love the way... Um, Taylor Swift, her dress. And it started with a turquoise and then it was an ombre into a darker blue. And right where it began to ombre, it made her waist look really tiny. I was, there we go. I loved it. You can tell right up in here, it's lighter. And then as you get down in here, it's darker and it just whittled her waist. I love that. And this girl is six feet tall. So you know, it was all about the legs. I think they did it really well. She's actually among the top three for me, actually, for that night. I think so too. I thought she looked so pretty, so She looked lovely. amazing. And then of course, yellow is in as well. I love yellow. Of course, you know, wearing yellow from top to bottom is not a good idea, but if you have a purse, Unless you want to be Big Bird. Exactly, okay. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it works really well for a darker skin tone like myself. And then for you, it can go towards a lighter lemony yellow. I love yellow. Isn't I that love color curious. Yes. This is uh, Sienna Miller. This was at the Golden Globes. She looked so amazing. And you can totally translate that to a wearable, this affordable necklace, dress. Necklace. I love that. You know, she did it well. It wouldn't work for somebody else, but I think for her, it really worked well for her. And with her blonde hair, I would never think that you could put that bright yellow right next to the blonde hair, but I've seen it done before. In fact, I did it. And, and yeah, I, I like that. I like that. I'll be doing it again. Yeah, and you're seeing that a lot. I'm going to New York Fashion Week this whole week. So you're Lucky going to duck. see a lot of collections that are, you know, they have specks of yellow, Michael Kors, spring 2015. How Ooh. amazing is that? Yes. That is such a splash of color. It makes you Love happy. It. it makes you feel good. And of course, she has the little midriff going on. I can't do that, but. Why not? You're like tiny. I can't. I'm a and mother. And you're tall. <laughs> no, you're tall. Well, I think it's okay if you just show a little bit of skin. Now. If you're showing all of this in between there, no. But when you show just a hint so you know that it is a midriff, I think it looks great. And I think like something like this is very classic, so you could always put like a white blazer over that and it pops against that blue and the yellow. It and does. it would be very tasteful, especially like, you know, a cute little evening look. It does, but I'll still stick to the fact that if you're 35 and up, you probably shouldn't be showing your midriff. But she looks amazing. Do you all agree with that? <laughs> I'm going to show my midriff as hard as I work out at the gym. I'm about to show all this, baby, all that. Yeah. 
What? Hey. I know, I know. Well, this Look was, at Madonna. This she was, was showing all that. <laughs> well, it's Madonna. You know, Madonna can get away with it, and we have a lot to say about that a little later on, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to save that for later. Because <laughs> that's a lot to say. Yes. Precisely. Mm -mm -mm. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with another special guest. I'm so glad you could come. I'm so glad. I love the magazine. I love everything Thank you've done you. with it this year. It's just like refreshing. And I think that there's still room to grow. So I'm looking forward to the next issue. Well, we definitely have a lot going on this year. It's an exciting time for us. We've redesigned the whole magazine inside and there's just a lot of fashion, a lot of stories that inspire, just a lot of good things that talk about women right here in our community. So it's a very exciting time for us. I love it, I love it. I love, like I was saying earlier, I love celebrating the people here in St. Louis. But don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with another special guest. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. We're back. I'm Gina Cheatham, your host, here with the lovely Scylla Hall, the publisher of Gazelle Magazine and the founder of Missouri Style Week, along with my special guest, Ms. Andrea Brooks, local stylist and proprietor of Glass Slipper Personal Styling and Image Consultant Group. And we're here on the After Mix, ready to discuss all the fashion, and in some cases, non-fashion, at the Grammys, which was not without a little fashion drama, and most of it happened on the red carpet. It really did, I mean, totally did. Rihanna just whizzed in along with her dress. There was a lot going on there. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that was an amazing moment. Okay, well, Scylla, since you seem to know, and you know, you're the fashion, the lead fashionista here, I'm gonna let you start us off. Well, as you can see, there's a lot going on with Rihanna's dress, and I was really trying to figure <laughs> out where I saw that before, and I'm telling you, on my ninth birthday, that was on top of my cake. Are you serious? It was such well, a moment. Well, see, that, yeah. that's what I was thinking. It was more like, you know, when those old ladies have those crocheted knit toilet paper rolls. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God, I've seen it before. There was a lot of fabric, but it was really a style moment because we're talking about it. Was, okay. 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 What it's do you a style think, moment. Andrea? I had... Uh, visions of cupcakes. I, <laughs> I craved one immediately it, after seeing the dress. I wanted I, a cupcake. I was just. But she is Rihanna. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, sometimes everybody can hit and miss. Yes. And she definitely missed the ball and the mark yeah. and the bullseye. Yeah. Can I go any further? And yeah. so did Madonna. Oh my. She was showing goodness. a whole lot. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now I thought that was totally tasteless, and nobody want to see her old. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> All that. It, it may look good to some, but I was like, it's just too pasty for me. I'm like, you know, love you, Madonna, but I don't want to know you like that in that way. Mm -mm. I didn't quite mind the front, quite honestly. I thought it was so Madonna, but when she turned around, turned she totally, around. I had to put hands over my son's face because that was, you know, that was, was a gross. real moment. It was gross. I was just like, and then her performance, I was just like, okay, okay. Yeah. It's Madonna, but still, she did not have to show us all of her assets. And of course, there's Kim Kardashian. Oh, love her or hate her, I love her on the red carpet. Yeah, she's always given fierce. She's fierce, honey, and I love that vintage dress she had on. And I like her new haircut, too. I think it looks really nice with the dress. I really do. The big shoulder pads, that's like uh, circle net, circa 1980. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. And of course, Andrea, you're the stylist, well, so that short hair makes you look a little younger. I she love, looks younger, I love the hair. She? I wasn't so uh, in love with the dress. It was a bit heavy um, and overpowering, but Kim pulled it off, um, you know, flawlessly. But I wouldn't say it was my best favorite of the night. I'll say this, I liked 
the drama of it all. Okay. I liked it because it made me think about the Grammys back in the day when we were we were small children and Diana Ross would come out and it was like, okay, what gown is she going to wear this time? It was just yeah. a full performance. So I, I like that. You're I like that. Right. And of course she brought drama on her arm too. Kanye. Right. <laughs> Lord, Lord. His mother would know. totally, totally be disappointed with some of his behavior, but you know, okay, fine. Sierra. How gorgeous. She was giving us leg. How gorgeous. I love that dress. I love the fact that she's wearing a wonderful glittery belt in the middle, just cinching everything in. She just had a kid. How I, awesome is that? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. She has a baby and she bounces back looking like that. Okay, all right. And I, lo I love the belt. I've seen that belt done before both in a cap, um, well, most of the time I've seen it done casually and to see it done um, in a evening sort I know, of way. like on the red I, I, carpet. I, I, on the right. red carpet, I yeah. thought it, it worked, it gives worked. Gives it an edge, it gives it a yeah. bit of edge, yeah. It gives it a bit of pop. Otherwise it'd be kind of uh, just a black dress. Just a, well, yeah. no, it would be, yeah, it would be a fun <laughs> black dress. Yes. In fact, let's get to my favorite part of the show where, um, no. We can Doesn't talk about like... who was beat <laughs> and who needed to take a seat. Now, starting with Rihanna. Look at that. I thought the dress, I mean, I didn't want to say this, but it reminded me of some good yakki. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> well, I, you know what? Sierra's dress, I love it. I mean, it does look a little bit like that, but it's the Grammys. You can get away with looking a little, I mean, think about it. Lady Maybe Gaga says, wore hair and she wore meat. And I like her dress. I'd wear it. I'm just saying it kind of reminded me. It put me in that mindset. That's all. Oh, I'm just no. saying. You know, just throw it a little shade. Not a lot of shade, just a little. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, but tell me, who was your top favorite? My top favorite. I, I really loved, uh, uh, what, what's her name? Uh, Taylor Swift. Okay. Yeah, Taylor was my favorite. And I love the pink shoes. The who was your top favorite? Sierra. Sierra. She, she, I thought she was great. I don't care what you say. I loved it. Okay, my top favorite was Gwen <laughs> Stefani. She worked, worked that wonderful uh, jumpsuit she had on, and that's totally on trend. And let me just think. Let me well, let me just ask, who was your bottom? For me, for real. I'm a little tired of the Pee Wee Herman uh, little kid shorts. Absolutely. I'm I, over it. Can we? Uh, I thought. Can we get a little grown up here? I, C. Tafker, number one for me was Pharrell as well. I was like, what is this? Again, no fashions at the fashion show. I was like, I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't even yes. think about it. What'd you think? I like Pharrell. And I, I like, like all oh, like his him. Bermudas and his hats. I think he's interesting. I think he can get away with whatever he wants to wear because he's Pharrell. And he's happy. Okay, fine. Well. I think we've said it all this evening. It's been rewound, remixed, shaken up, and stirred. What more can we do other than tell you to tune in next week for more Fun Talk TV right here on the Aftermix? And be sure to tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. to watch Erica and Andy on the Daily Mix. I, he may be your favorite, but he's still, oh, I, oh, oh what is that? He looks like one of those, no. those uh, dancing monkeys with the little oh, no. <laughs> on the street in oh, New York City. Well, he does look a little bit like that, but doesn't that make you happy? Okay, okay. it makes me happy. <laughs> when the monkey does it, when the monkey does it, it, oh. No. We're over it. Okay. So, we're talking and we're talking.